So we've got your first programming question here. It says there's a theme park that charges £15 per person on a daily ticket. They give you key information here for a reason. So I know that I've got £15 there. If there are six or more, think about it. That's more means greater than six. You're going to say equal to. So just have that in your mind. People are in a group. The group is given a five pound discount. I always go through and answer these questions and underline the key facts. It says write a Python program to calculate the total charge for a group visiting the theme park. The program must get the user to enter the number of people in the group. So that to me right there is I'm going to need to use input or if it was pseudocode user input and calculate the total charge by charging £15 per person. So realistically there, I'm going to say person times 15, just getting that in my head, reducing the total charge by £5 if there are six or more people, six or more, and output the total charge. You should use indentation as appropriate. So first of all, all right, I'm going to put this here. The first thing you want to do is you want to start on this line here because then you can use these lines to help you indent. The first thing I'm going to need to find out is how many people are in the group. All right? So what you're going to do, I wonder if I've got my ruler here. I want to show you it in pseudocode as well. So I'm just going to draw a line down that page for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say group is equal to int input. You might have put a message in there, don't panic in this case. If you are doing it in pseudocode, obviously this is asking for a Python program, but if you were doing it in pseudocode, you might say group uh, string to int and then in brackets there, I might put user input. All right. So now I've got, this is, remember, this is Python. This is sudo. All right. Now what I'm going to do there is I need to work out, remember it says 15 pound per person. Really, really easy thing to do here is total don't need any indentation because there's no if, all right? Total equals group times, what value am I going to put? 15, yep, 15. 15, exactly. All right, and in pseudo, it would be total is group times 15. All right. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to work out, remember, look what it says here, if there are six or more people, reduce the total charge by five, okay? <clears throat> it doesn't say per person, it says the total amount, all right? This is where you do an if. So I'm going to say if group is greater than or equal to six, here, if oh, group is greater than or equal to 6, so that's not really that different, okay? If group is uh, greater than or equal to 6, all I'm going to do is say total is total minus five, total, oh, that should have been an equals there, sorry, got my pseudo mixed up, total is total minus five, so in Python it's just an equals, sorry, and then on pseudo you'd probably put end if, don't need to do that here, all right, you don't even necessarily need to put an else because the if will happen, all right, 
and then I would print out the total. Notice I moved back here, all right? Because if that stayed indented, that would have carried out as part of the if statement, all right? I always need to print out the total, all right? That, if I left that there, would only print out the total if there was more than six people, all right? I always, the question says, output the total charge. It doesn't say output the total charge if there's more than six people. So you've got to bear that in mind. Get your indents correct. So then down here, I would just put output total, okay? You get two marks. One mark is for the input, all right? And you get another mark for using selection. Even if it's wrong, you get a mark for attempting it, all right? Then there are other marks. So you get a mark for doing the multiplying, all right? You would get a mark for making sure you use the correct Boolean. So there's also a mark there. So I've got the multiplying mark. I've got the Boolean. Uh, so I've said multiply by 15 using the correct, so there's a mark there for the if statement, using the correct method to reduce by 5, that's a mark there, and then you'd get a mark for outputting the final total. All right, <clears throat> I'll take a question before I move on to our next one. Um, so then when you print you have to like you only need to make it go back to a string if I am joining it to other strings. I can still print stuff out without ca casting. Okay, you only use casting when you are joining two. So just to kind of help you back, because that may be a, an assessment question, I might need to go str total, all right, if I said this, um, print, sorry, done that wrong. Uh, if I said total equals str total, now I can say print your total plus total. All right, and that would do it. So that's the only time you would use casting in that situation. Yeah. Can you do it inside the print? So can you do str total? Uh, what if I did? Well, so, oh, so you're saying you can you do str total plus your string? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yes. Uh, don't you like? Is, there, is it not necessary to like ask the question like how many people? Do not like do you matter? In some questions, it does matter, all right? So in some questions here, they might expect a prompt, but it's if they say in here, prompt them, you need to make sure that you put that, okay? But does it like lose marks? Do you lose marks if you put it? If you put a prompt in there, you don't lose marks for adding extra. You lose marks for leaving it out. So I'm going to pause on that one, and I'm going to go on to the next question, okay?